Hey guys, it's me, Mrs. Maine, in front of another one of my bookshelves today. This is the bookshelf where I keep all of my travel journals and all of the cool stuff I've gathered um, over my years traveling the world. It goes up and up and up and up. <laughs> And uh, I thought I'd do one more bonus episode where I share some of my travel photos with you because I haven't been to all of the places uh, that we've visited in our minds when we've studied history mysteries this summer, but I haven't been to like um, about three out of the ten places. So I thought I'd show you some really cool pictures and some really cool things I found uh, in Scotland and in Egypt. So stay tuned. First, let me tell you about King Tut's tomb because you guys, I've been there. And as far as I know, no curses come down on my head. So my Egypt journal is, oh, it's this one. Uh, my journals always start out thin and then they get super fat because I add a ton of stuff. So King Tut's tomb is in a place called the Valley of the Kings where there are lots of tombs of dead pharaohs. And you can't take pictures inside the tombs. Augie, I'll get your toy in just a minute, okay? I, I'll rescue it from, hold on, hold on just a minute. I have to rescue a tennis ball. Wait. There you go. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, it's in a place called the Valley of the Kings and you can't take pictures inside the tombs itself because the paint is still on the walls, but it's very fragile. Luckily, um, both for the tombs and for the economy of Egypt, they sell really cheap these beautiful postcard pictures right outside. Oh, and when you go to the Valley of the Kings, you get this really cool ticket that allows you to go to three different tombs, any three that you wanted. You can see that I went to all three because they punched a little hole in my ticket. Oh, here's another picture of the Valley of the Kings. But let's get to King Tut's tomb. I went inside, and one thing I noticed about King Tut's tomb is that all the pictures, here it is, all the pictures were like really large. Here's a picture I found on the internet of uh, Howard Carter in King Tut's tomb. And I have a quote from him here. Yes, wonderful things, he said when he found the inside of the tomb. But... The pictures themselves were really big because King Tut died young and super suddenly, so they had to, um, like, speedy quick decorate the place. So they just drew really big, which I think is adorable. Ancient Egyptians were an awful lot like, um, well, like me, if you're being honest. <laughs> there are all sorts of other really cool things I did in Egypt, like, uh, saw the pyramids. Oh, I rode a camel. So let me find you a picture of that. Here's a picture of Mrs. Main riding a camel in Egypt. This photo was taken minutes before Mrs. Main fell off of a camel <laughs> in Egypt. But you know what? When it's in Egypt, it's still pretty cool. And um, if you ever do go to Egypt and ride a camel, they are wiggly little suckers. So just FYI, hold on tight. A couple of years ago, a friend and I went on a road trip through England and Scotland and Wales. Um, and the way I kept that journal because we were driving was I took like a road map. This is super old fashioned, but maps used to be on paper. And then like I kept track of where we went every day. And one of the places we went was Stonehenge. So let me find that for you guys. That. Here I am consulting the book. I don't know if you can see that. And there was a huge traffic jam, so we had to find another way around. <laughs> uh, let's see. Oh, we went to um, Stratford upon Avon, where William Shakespeare was born as well. Let's see. Thank you for being so. Aha! Look, see? There's Stonehenge from the road. Big traffic jam, but all sorts of fun things to do once you got there. Except, of course, touch the stones. You can't touch the stones or get too close to them. Ah, here it is. Cool, right? Let's see. I also visited the Loch Ness. That's a different one. I think it's this one. And I drove again. They drive on the left-hand side, but you see so much more when you drive, you guys. Uh, not you guys. Don't drive until you, you know, have a license. <laughs> uh, but there are really cool things 
there I found this really great it's called the Necessary Research Center and it's it's this guy in a van it's very very cool uh, watching Loch Ness they also have like a Loch Ness exhibition center see that there uh, I didn't stay at the Drumna Draught Hotel but I did drive up and down both sides of the Loch Ness didn't see Nessie but that doesn't mean she's not there oh there are lots of sheep too just walking across the roadway like you do Anyway, those are some of the places I've been. I would love to see some of your pictures. Um, like, Sophia, I know you've been to our Washington State Stonehenge or just any place cool that you've been. It'd be really cool if you shared your pictures with me. Um, I will see you this Thursday for our final history mystery meeting of the summer, and I hope you guys have had a good time.